Malish pursued the more monstrous of her brother's intruders through the forest. That Humbaba had sent assassins to her forest was no surprise. She had fully expected it and had been on guard. Deciding to deal with the greater threat of the two, Malesh had already tangled with the monstrous beast she chased now. She had harried it from the trees, causing it enough frustration that it retreated for open ground, no doubt, some clearing to put space between it and her agile strikes. This creature had nearly felled her with a blow that only her quickness had lessened. The long nails on her left hand and her toe's claws were splintered by the effort to decelerate from that unholy impact. Now, she was left with only one set of talons with which to engage the horned thing that plowed ahead of her. Trees snapped in half ahead, confirming that the creature was on the run, simply giving itself room where it felt it could battle with more freedom. That gave Malash a countdown, a small cushion of space and time where she could catch up to Humbaba's beast and bring it to the ground. Five claws and her fangs would have to do. Even now, her legs and arms hurt as she went full quadrupedal, using the entire length of her lithe, powerful frame to spring ever faster. With cat-like bounds and bounces off the broken trees dropped by her horned opponent's passage, she ate up the distance between them quickly. As she kicked off a shattered trunk, she saw the ebony form of a minotaur looming like a pillar in front of her. Malish tried to twist out of the way, but the enemy had picked this moment to ambush her perfectly. The creature swung its heavy fist, more hoof than fingers clenched, and clubbed Malish between her shoulder blades. The blow slammed her to the ground, knocking the wind from her lungs. Malish's brain swam crazily, laid low by the power of the massive attacker. She tried to focus her vision, but then the beast brought its foot down, trapping her arm beneath its weight. Without any leverage, the daughter of Enlil was trapped, though thankfully her bone structure was dense enough that the 1,500 pounds of muscle and sinew pressing on her shoulder joint hadn't cracked bones and cartilage like twigs. It shifted its weight, drawing up its other massive hind hoof. While the monster's weight wouldn't break a bone, she was certain that a full-powered kick would easily separate her head from her shoulders. Malish's yellow eyes flashed with furious defiance. The goddess would not face her end whimpering for mercy. As she glared at the thing about to kill her, she noticed that a heavy shaft of bronze ring-wrapped wood jutted from the creature's upper chest. The Minotaur toppled, thrown off balance by the sudden addition to its body weight, bright blood frothing from its nostrils. Malish glanced back to see Humbaba's human assassin, sword glimmering in the starlight. The snake faces sent me to kill this woman. F*** off! The Minotaur swatted the shaft of the spear, shattering it off so that it didn't jut too far and rose to its full height. Its eyes twisted, pain from the shifting of the nine-inch leaf of razor-sharp bronze in its shoulder. Shaking with rage, its lips curled back and bloody streams trailed from its flaring nostrils. The Minotaur launched, charging the dark-skinned human, who himself had leaped with equal rage. 